Rob McCarran is an icon in the northwest of New South Wales. When he's not organising rugby trips and golf days, he's out in the paddock organising trials for Pacific Seeds. Summer crops like sunflowers and sorghum are his speciality and for the last 36 years his trial work in these two crops have increased yields for farmers in northern New South Wales and Queensland and it was for this work that he's been awarded the Brown Hill Cup for 2018. It was um, a complete surprise and uh, then it started to sink in and thought well yes it's a I guess recognition on, uh, on my contribution but uh, not only my contribution, I, I believe uh, my whole team uh, from Pacific Seeds, um, their contribution to the uh, hybrid seed industry and agriculture in Australia in general. And, uh, um, you know, back 30 years ago, uh, we were all very similar age, a young group, and uh, I just know that I had a very close affiliation with the, the research team. Uh, a lot of those fellows have since retired, but uh, uh, we were very close together and uh, those days we all pitched in and helped each other. To me the most significant change in, in uh, farming agriculture um, was uh, the introduction of, um, or the uptake if you like, of uh, zero till, uh, minimum till versus our traditional conservation tillage. Um, sorghum in, in general for example became a much more stable and more reliable crop as opposed to when they were farming conventionally. and. Uh, I guess we were lucky enough that uh, at the same time with our research team and sorghum team led by Neil Muller, um, you know, back in the early 90s, MR Buster came along, which really sort of uh, took the sorghum industry by surprise. Was it the best one? Still, uh, yeah, it was the best variety that, uh, that we had or had released along the way, as far as I'm concerned, and it's still going strong today. Yes. What about the sunflowers? Was there a stand out there? Um, when I first came on the scene, um, we had High Sun 32, and then uh, just as I started, we released a new one, High Sun 33. It was trialled as Pack 308, and I remember moving back from Central Queensland to, to Liverpool Plains, and Bobby Freeban, the district agronomist at Cootabarabin, was in those days running extensive sunflower trials, and his trials just confirmed what we were finding was sort of 20% better than the next best, best hybrid. So yes, High Sun 33 was another uh, variety that stands in my mind. What was the standout with them though? Was it sort of the vigour, the yield, the uh, adaptability to the climate? Oh, I think all that plus basically at the end is, is the return to the farmer. So economic yield, whether that be uh, yield uh, as far as grain sorghum goes or, or uh, oil yield for sunflower. So, I mean, at the end of the day, that's what we've got to do is, is put more money in the, in the farmer's pocket so it's overall performance in the way of yield. Rob McCarran has delivered more than new varieties. He listened to industry, plant breeders and farmers and delivered a package which has reduced costs and increased yields for his many clients. We started working with Rob, I believe, in 84 and we worked with him for about 20 odd years. The farmer trials and then later on R&D trials were most interesting because we got first-hand access to the information as soon as the varieties were released and commercially and we would be trialling them. And not only on our farm but across the whole of the Liverpool Plains, Rob was running trials so we, we were able to assess different climatic conditions each year and, and which varieties were proving to be better un, under different circumstances. Uh, so it, it shortened up our our lead time of trying new new varieties, I believe, and, we, yeah. and Rob's advice was always excellent. What sort of impact would it have on your um, yields and then hence your returns? Well, hopefully uh, we, we had improved yields because, we, again, we were at the forefront of the, the release of varieties and we saw them from, from inception to, to fruition. So, uh, yeah, it was, uh, particularly in the sunflowers in the early days, there were some dramatic improvements in... in uh, in yields and, and oil content, and that was a, a big plus financially, naturally. Yes. What sort of impact uh, generally did it have? Was it the same for everyone, every all the other farmers on the Liverpool plant? I would have believed so. Particularly, any any oil and yield increase in sunflowers was was most welcome, and and of course, as uh, as time has proven, sorghum yields have increased dramatically on on less rainfall. So the the uh, Yield per millimetre of rain has improved dramatically and given different farming practices as well. Mm -hmm.